which of following types of inflammatory cells is most likely to be seen on biopsy? All right. 45 year old man presents to the dermatology clinic with two month history of recurrent itchy rash on his hands. The rash consists of uh, erythematous papules, vesicles, occasional cross skin biopsies performed, intracellular edema in the epidermis. Intracellular edema. Two month. Okay. Occasional cross. Intracellular edema in the epidermis. Hmm. I mean, if it occasional crust, I don't think that this is something like allergenic. Um, I would get rid of like mast cells, the eosinophils doesn't seem, I don't think I like that. Um, I don't think I like the plasma cells, even though it is recurrent. Neutrophils just makes the most sense to me with, with crusts and vesicles. Um, your cellular edema, that, but that's only like lymphocyte more. Um, recurrent, yeah, I, I think I'd go neutrophils. Okay, let's talk about this, right? Recurrent itchy hands, erythema, passable vesicle crust, um, consistent of acute eczema or dermatitis. Neutrophils are predominant inflammatory cells in acute eczema and they contribute to okay. formation of spongiosis. Eosinophils, right? You can have, you know, parasitic allergic reaction, mm -hmm. um, chronic dermatitis cases, but not kind of in acute eczema. Okay. So you, first you have to know that this is eczema, right? Um, okay, I wasn't thinking eczema. I don't know what I was, I wasn't really thinking. Yeah. Eczema, you can tell this is eczema because um, eczema, when it's like active, right, when it's actively um, on, then you can have, it's really, really itchy. It's going to be red, right? And you can have crust and vesicles too, okay? Okay. Um, lymphocytes, right? This is usually not, you know, this is like chronic eczema also, however, not in acute eczema. Mast cells play a role in allergic reactions. Mm -hmm. um, hives, eudicaria. Yeah, eudicaria. They always, they've asked about that before, like yep. the circles, yeah, the red circles. Plasma cells, lichen, uh, planus, and lupus um, erythematous. Okay. So, so the key thing here is um, it's a little bit tricky because it's an active eczema issue, okay? If it's like skin that has chronic eczema that's not actively with crust and things like that, but just kind of a little bit itchy, but not all these vesicles and things, then it's going to be, you know, eosinophils or something else, right? But okay. the fact that it's active as neutrophils, this one's a really tough one because I, I don't think I've ever seen this question on um, step one in this detail for skin. Um, okay. But just keep in your mind that my key thing here is that I want you to remember that um, eczema um, is going to look like this, okay? Active eczema, okay? okay? Um, the vesicles, the crusting, the um, pruritus, and the papules, okay? Okay.